uh, hi everyone this is nagraj bairra ji so in this uh, video you will see how to create a, a team project in team foundation server 2013 so let me start so i've got a machine with visual studio 2013 update 3 let me open visual studio 2013 okay so with tfs 2013 we can create team projects using uh, three different templates so if you got a team which follows agile template or agile methodology then we can go for agile template in tfs or if the team is following cmmi process then there's a cmmi template and if the team is following scrum process methodology there is a scrum template available by default in team foundation server so we have got three templates in tfs agile cmmi and scrum but that's not limited so i can go ahead and create my own template using the standards available from tfs so let's connect to tfs first so i'm going to click on this team menu then select the option called as connect to team foundation server okay so so this is the team explorer which helps to connect us to tfs so this is a client component component which is available in uh, visual studio ides and it can be installed as a stand alone okay so let me click on uh, select team projects or create so to create a new team project so it's blank here let me click on servers to add the tfs server okay i have got a tfs server here so that is vs alm let me connect to it and i could see there are many collections and team projects under those collections let's select any of the collections and go ahead and say connect so i have connected to the team project sorry i have connected to the collection either i can select a team project and work on it or i could i could go ahead and create a new team project so let me choose to create a team project now yeah so let me start with uh, a scrum team project i mean a team project based on scrum so i'll say demo scrum i can give the description okay let me go to next yeah so this is the place where i can select the template the choice of template so i've got microsoft visual studio scrum 2013.3 template and i've got agile msf for agile software development that is microsoft solution framework for agile software development 2013.3 and msf for cmmi process template also so let me choose scrum here and say next i can choose to either create a new sharepoint site for my team project or i could choose not to configure it or 
if i already have a team uh, site created already i can go and configure what link i want so let me choose the default option create a new sharepoint site click on next so here again with tfs i can i could choose whether i, I want to go for tfs based version control system or jit which is a distributed version control system so let me go with the default option that is tfs click on next so i'll get a information whatever i have selected all the settings okay so when i click on finish the team projects creation process starts so this the process template that we have chosen that is microsoft visual studio scrum 2013.3 it's like a blueprint it's a template so what it consists so it consists of the work item types we use in our project for different activities so it can be i want to create some work to my developers to my team members i'll go for task work item i want to assign some tasks to my developers maybe you now developer has to write a code or create a page or something like that or as a tester i want to create a test case okay then there's a test case work item again as a tester when i execute a test case you know i want to file a defect or a bug so there's a bug work item so like that there are different work item types available different categories different queries okay plus there are different reports also available based on the template we select so this is a process of team project creation and we could see it's almost done and if you could observe it starts with you know work item it's downloaded the process template and you know then lab tasks then now it's just configuring the reports yep so my project is done i can go and view the project creation log if i want okay let let me just close this okay i have got a demo scrum team project created let me log into it and i could see this so there's different sections called as my work version control builds document management again uh, the version control feature pending changes which shows all the changes pending that is checked out files then work items reports and other pro team project settings so let me go to work items so let's see what are the work items available so there is a bug work item there is a task yeah in scrum we call product backlog item for requirements okay in cmma it is called requirements again in agile it is called as user story then there is a feature work item impediment test case so these are the different default work items available out of the scrum template let's go to reporting and these are the different reports again available with the scrum template that is backlog overview release burn down sprint burn down velocity and couple of reports related to build and couple of reports related to test cases so as we know scrum is a very lightweight process template so it captures very less information because it is like quick development quick deploy quick test so if i go to a task a work item i'm not going to create any task here so if i see there is a remaining work okay so there is only remaining work field available to capture the you know number of hours spent on this task but whereas if you go for cmmi or agile you'll get something called as estimated work remaining work and even completed work so those templates will capture more information scrum is a very lightweight so it captures very less, less information okay so this is about scrum team project let's go back and create 
a team project based on agile so let me call it as uh, demo agile and i can give description so this team project is based on agile template okay let me click on next so here i will choose agile template okay so the rest of the things remain same let me click on finish so you can see it's downloading the project structure groups and permissions the different link types available queries categories all the stuffs so all these things are present in the templates so templates are nothing but you know uh, xml files which are structured accordingly so i will show about that maybe in a next video how to or what is the process template what it contains how to customize it how to add new items to it so all the stuff can be discussed in the next video let me click on close now so the team project based on the agile template is created let us quickly go and check the work item section and see what are the different work items available and if you can observe here the different queries also available so by default so all these things are part of the process template so whenever we create a team project i want all these default queries also to be created so all those things i can define in the template so let me go to click on this uh, new work item and i could see bug task most of the things are same we don't find impediment here then instead of product backlog item here we could see user story so this is a agile terminology so we get to see user story let me click on task again and show you so if you go here efforts in terms of efforts we could see original estimate correct then remaining work which was there in scrum then completed work so it captures more information so likewise it will have different state flows also if i go for a bug work item so this might have active resolved and closed whereas scrum might have different state state flow let me just say demo bug just want to show you the different state flow available so if i go okay it's active bug is created so it's active i could say resolve so developer fixes it so the reason is resolved or it can be any other reasons like deferred or absolute cannot be reproduced so many things okay next let me click on save and next step is either i can go for reactivating it or i can say close so once the developer fixes the tester can verify whether the bug is really fixed and close so this is the bug workflow in agile okay if i go back to scrum i can easily connect to scrum template and same way create a new bug work item here okay let me select the bug and you can see it's new okay and there is a new defect reported so in agile it was active so let me create a demo bug scrum save the work item and from new it has a different phases again so it will be approved by the product owner then it will go to the committed state where the team commits to work on this bug and it will be done so work is finished so so it has a different flow correct so here in in scrum even they might create tasks for this bug to be you know done state correct so this was a 
scrum and we saw about agile also let's go and create a team project with cmmi template let me click on create team project i'll say demo cmmi okay so i can give the description says this team project is based on cmmi template So I will choose here CMMI, the last option. I'm a software CMMI process template. Okay. So let me click on next. So rest of things remain same. Let me click on finish. So you can see it's downloading the process template. That is a CMMI process template. Then it is uploading to the team project, creating all these things, work item types, work item link types, queries, So yeah, so you can see it's almost done. So for each team project based on the template, we select all the different work items, reports, all those things will be published. Okay the team project is created let me go to cmmi and see what it contains let me go to work item section directly and you can see it has different again queries so it has got so many queries so then as a cmmi uh, now if you're following cmmi process so there'll be a lot of documentation a lot of information to be collected so we've got a lot of queries even more work item types okay you could see requirement so this is in cmmi so in agile it is called as user story in scrum it is called as product backlog item and we could see review risk issues so these are different work items available you know in cmmi the rest of the things are same or similar so let me click on bug again and you could see it has a different again state flow so i'll say demo bug let me click on save so it will be in proposed then it will go to active then the rest of things follows as per the agile template so it will be resolved then it will be closed so there's a flow which says proposed right yeah so it has got extra state so let's go to reports here and check different reports available so you can see it has got many reports again so they are project management reports are test cases reports build reports and a separate bug reports and build reports you can see this one more extra report called as build quality indicators and we have got many uh, reports in project management section right so same mi has got many reports many work item types it captures more information whereas scrum it captures very less information it's like a quick development so if you go for reporting in agile also you could see so agile and same are almost you know have got all the reports and work items similar right so this was a quick demo on how to create team project based on the different templates and what is different based on the template so we saw there are different work items types available queries links then there are different reports available and under work item again there are different uh, you know state flows right for different work item types based on the templates we choose So...